Hi, this is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design, a Google Sites designer. I wanted to give a tutorial on using our custom slideshow gadget or slider or carousel as it's sometimes called uh, because we've installed this on many of our clients' sites. Uh, it's very useful, it's very clean, and uh, we we'll want to walk through the settings and properties of it so that our uh, anyone can begin to use it and uh, customize it to fit their needs. So we look at the slideshow, it has some components. Uh, obviously, it's going to cycle through some uh, images. It has left and right arrows to uh, proceed or go to the previous slide. Uh, some versions may have a room for a caption. So those are the, some of the um, available uh, options. Uh, if we go into edit page mode, see the gadgets here uh, behind the scenes. Take a look at their properties. Uh, here, this slideshow is uh, installed with five slides with five links so that when people click on the slides, they're directed somewhere, uh, maybe in a new tab. And uh, also the uh, timing of the uh, uh, transitions and timing between slides. So if we look here, these types of uh, URLs that are plugged in, they are pointing to hard uh, URLs to a um, particular image that's hosted somewhere. I'm hosting these images on Google Sites. Well, how do you do that? I'll walk you through it real quickly here. If we have an image on our computer prepared, uh, we've sized it uh, correctly. Uh, let's take a look at what dimensions we're using here. Uh, if I right click on this image and inspect it, I can see that uh, currently it has a dimensions of 1080 by 300. So you want to be consistent in your use of uh, images and the sizing and ratio of those. Um, for the sizing of the gadget, actually, it's responsive. So it's going to fill 100% of the area you put it in. Also, the height is going to be responsive. But just to ballpark, we put in 300 here. Uh, so again, to host an image, we go to Insert Image in Sites. We upload it from our computer uh, up here, welcome. So once you've uploaded an image, you have it hosted, you can right click on its thumbnail and copy the image address or image URL. And once we have that in our clipboard, we can come here and paste it in uh, to any particular slide that you wish it to be at. Uh, URLs can also be posted here uh, so that those go to a particular spot and uh, anything else can be customized. Now for the captions option, uh, this one uh, took out the clickable slides and added in captions. So that was what uh, was required there. So if you need a gadget that has a number of slides, uh, let's say from one to, or I guess two uh, to 10 slides, or you need those to have captions or need them to have URLs, uh, just let me know. I'll customize the gadget uh, to fit your needs. But once you have it, it, it becomes quite useful. And you can, uh, uh, oh, one particular note, you will need to fill all, um, all categories here. So if you have five slides, you need to use all five slots. Um, also with links as well, you want to plug in something there or else it'll send them to a, a broken page. So once you have a slider installed somewhere on your site, uh, you can actually copy it uh, and go to a different page. You can copy it. And once we're in edit mode here, you can paste it. And this is a completely independent gadget. Uh, so it's made a duplicate for you. And you can then customize it again. So you can use these gadgets on multiple pages. Uh, to fit your needs. Well, that's a quick tutorial. I'll also provide a link in the description of this video on a more uh, thorough written instructions. Thank you.